<laughs> he won an Emmy this year uh, playing Tom Wams Gans on the hit series <laughs> Succession. Please welcome Matthew McFadden. <laughs> I guess nice to meet you. Yeah, right? this, this is, is the first, first time. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah welcome. Yeah. Thank you very it's much. It's so unnerving when I hear you speak with your actual voice. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you must hear that. I'm a, lot. a long way from Wamsgans. Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah, my, but you yeah. must be recognized for that role all of the time. Yeah, a little bit now. What do people yeah. say? What do, what do they say to you? Because it's tough sometimes to separate the person and the character. Oh. Sometimes yeah. they say, "Greg." No, no. Yeah. <laughs> right. Because Sometimes you I get confused. Your with... character and cousin Greg are very synonymous. They, they are, are a yeah. super couple. We're a little double act, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes people shout billions at me. Oh, really? Which is not, billions is a great show. Yeah. So well, funny. When, 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 you, when you read this script, what did, what did you see? What did you think? How did you look at it yourself? Uh, we read the, I got the pilot. We did the read through for the pilot on election night in 2016 which was odd. Wow. Yeah, it was really strange. Um, and uh, it was just a really funny, spiky, acid sort of script. Yeah. Um, but you never know how it's going to land, you know, when you're doing the season. And so it was really gratifying that it sort of took, you know, uh. and people loved it. And Because they're all sort of revolting characters, yeah. right? I mean, they're, yeah. you know... Yes, but, but oddly, you root for them. You really do. <laughs> we discuss Which we think is an issue for us. We Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Completely I think also it's a family as well. That's, yes. the, that's the hook. The family you, inevitably dynamic. Inevitably, you recognize, you know, relationships and people, you know, it's a, that's, that's the thing. Tom and Greg have this dynamic. Mm. Is, there a, is there a specific scene you look back on and think, gosh, that was so diabolically fun to shoot between the two of you? I think, yeah, all of them, really. The, the water <laughs> bottle one was good. Yeah. Yeah. Tom has a sort of meltdown. I, Greg tries to leave Tom mm -hmm. and go to a different position in the company, and Tom... He doesn't handle it well, well, does he? He doesn't handle it well at all. <laughs> and starts throwing water bottles in a sort of... Do you remember? I do remember. Yeah, yeah. And then it's a wonderful uh, resolution to it, because they come out of the... And they're in a panic room, the mm -hmm. wrong panic room. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, it's like a sub panic room, which Tom isn't happy about. And then they come out, and then um, Greg tries to blackmail Tom clumsily, and Tom's really pleased with him for doing <laughs> that. <laughs> so, yeah, but I, the truth is, I love it all. I mean, I really. You it's know. my favorite. It's really, we laughed, we laughed about it so much, you screaming, executives coming through. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I elbowed this lady out of the way. Yeah, this stunt, it was a stunt girl, a stunt lady. She was brilliant, but I, she, you know, I pushed her into a wall, you know. So, if you, when, terrible, when, terrible. when you look back at the things that you've had to audition for or when you pursue different parts, mm -hmm. is there something extraordinary you've ever done to get a role? Um, I'm, I, 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 I faxed a director once back in the days when faxes were a thing. Yeah. It was actually my mum and dad's. I was in my mum and dad's place and they had a fax machine and I faxed a director and I was quite drunk, oh. quite late. And so Just what demanding the part. Oh, did it work? It did. Oh, incredible! <laughs> it did, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. What did you scribble on the facsimile? I can't remember. It was a long, involved, <laughs> quite long strident fax. Long -winded short you know, if you yeah. ever, if you ever need to send a fax again, I'll give you the number here because okay, we still good. have a fax. <laughs> oh, do you? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, we're yeah, very yeah. antiquated. Yes. Right. You could really think about the fax as well. It wasn't like a, you know. Yeah. No. You could think about yeah. it. And, yeah. 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 Right. We're going to come back and talk about Stonehouse right after this with Matthew. Stay where you are. <laughs> <laughs> Strangely, that dawns of, on you in that moment. Shades of Basil <laughs> Fawlty there, a little. <laughs> I mean, it better be a good present now. <laughs> That's a scene from Stonehouse. Yes. Uh, yeah. Tell us about it. So Stonehouse is a three-parter um, uh, about an MP called John Stonehouse who was a sort of rising star, a member of parliament, like mm -hmm. a congressman equivalent, I suppose. And he was kind of a rising star in the 60s and 70s in the Labour Party. And for one reason and another, he sort of got in over his head and he was and he faked his own death in sort of 1974 he flew from london to miami he had a wife and three kids mm -hmm. he flew to miami left his clothes and his passport in a nice neat pile on a beach and swam into the sea and disappeared and he ended up in australia he flew to australia he, re he swam out yeah. a bit and swam over in the sea and then came back to another hotel <laughs> with <Right>. fake passport <laughs> and then flew to Australia. Amazing. Wow. In the days when it was easier 
to fake your own death right. than it is now, I suppose. It's you, so hard now. It's really hard. I, I think it can be done. But you <laughs> can't. It can be done, yeah. but it Sorry. is. You really have to um, play a long game. Yeah, and your exactly. wife, Keely, plays your wife. She does, What yeah. was that like to work together Heaven. in that role? Lovely. Yeah. Really good. Yeah, yeah. She yep. would sort of look into my soul. Oh, yeah. So it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm frozen. But domestically, it was really nice because we just... We, we were shooting in the Midlands of England and we hired an Airbnb and we took the dog and it was great. Did you know this story? No, not at all. Yeah, it's before you were born probably. It was kind of, uh, yeah, I was born in 74, so it was just yeah, then. Yeah, wow. Oh but my it was gosh. just, a, I was struck, it was such a fast, I was telling my 16 year old about it and he was like, really, what? Is that mm. really true? It's yeah. such a curious and, and, story. And then what happens is, it's always like, he gets brought down because, you know. He, well, he, he ends up in Australia and they, they he gets arrested because they think he's Lord Lucan, who did disappear after murdering his nanny, his children's nanny. Anyway, so that was, it, it, yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether he would have got away with it, but it's a sort of... It's a really twisted story. Yeah, he was, he was, Stonehouse was in terrible trouble financially. He was sort of becoming unstuck in that regard, and he was, he had a complicated love life. He was having an affair with the secretary. Mm-hmm. And he was also allegedly spying for the what was then Czechoslovakia. Wow. And he thought he was about to be unmasked. So all those things sort of became too much for him. And he... And he swam he, away. He swam <laughs> away, yeah. You can see the layers of Stonehouse premiering yeah. January 17th on Brock. Oh, so Matthew, happy. thanks for coming. Thank you, too. I know, I'm so happy. Our good news story of the day is right after this on Live. Never